Okay, guys, we're going to try this out. This is the new, new comic book preview show. You guys have been begging for it back uh, in the form that it was at. So we are going to do that. But I'm going to change one thing. I'm going to show you the best of the best. So instead of 400 comics that we do in the FOC show, I'm going to show you the best covers, the keys. I'll show you all DC and Marvel regardless, my favorite cover of each, and the best picks out of everything coming out next week. Okay, this is also a giveaway video. Hit that like button, comment your like number, and hit that subscribe button, and you could win. I think you'll enjoy this better. It'll be a little bit faster, but this is my full spec analysis on next week's books. You wanted it, here it is. Let's go. Okay, guys, remember at the end of the video, stay tuned, see who wins the giveaway. Okay, so let's go and get right into it. I, I truly believe you're going to like this the best for your refreshing preview show, but of the best. Not top 10, not 10, the best of the best, and not the FOC, you know, not everything, and not live so you can't see. It's going to be nice and big. It'll be a premiere so I can chat with you guys. Let's go. I'm going to stop fooling around. This is what you want. We'll see if you like it. I know you will. Okay, first up, Sumerian Maneaters of Zambula, number one. Okay, new book. This is cover B. This cover is sick. Period. End quote. Whatever. Space Pirate, Captain Harlock, number two, cover A. Zombie Tramp, number 80, cover E, by our homeboy, Michael McComb, Pool Boy. That cover's sick. Now, just remember, cover F will be a, bo a full on boobage. And Michael's working on a Jessica Rabbit for us. It's going to be out of sight. Incredible. Okay, coming soon. New book called Beyond the Breach, number one. I will call out all the number ones as well. Life sucks for Vanessa. Her mother just died and her boyfriend is cheating on her with her own sister. To clear her mind, Vanessa's taking the California road trip that she's been dreaming about for years. Her postcard perfect drive through Old Grove Forest quickly turns. When the breach hits a bizarre anomaly... And the sky plunges California into a nightmare world populated with strange extra-dimensional creatures. Enough said. Bunny Mass, number two. Uh, cover by from American Mythology Monsters, number one. This is cover B by Wolfer. I'm sure there's going to be boobage. It, it's going to have um, different stories in there. Some by Dan Parsons. So, try to get it. It's going to be hard to get, though. Okay. Because all these books are hard to get, the American mythology stuff. Valkyrie, Saviors, number one. One of my favorite covers of the week. This cover is sick, clean, gorgeous. Unbelievable. I, you know, whatever. Love it. College Students by Day, Kaiju Sides, Valkyrie Warriors by Night. Okay? Moths, number two. Beautiful cover. Spare Parts One Shot. This is cover A, okay? Based on the upcoming Raven Banner and RLJE movie releasing in theaters this summer, Spare Parts features a group of women that get lost on a random dirt road. A tow truck driver arrives and tows them to his junkyard. Everything seems normal until they wake up with weapons for limbs and thrown into the fight of their lives. Could be cool. You Promised Me Darkness, number four. New book called Mouse Guard, Olin Caregiver. Uh, yeah. Seven Secrets, number 10, cover A. I like it. Berserker, number one, fifth printing. Save Yourself, number one, second printing. A new book called Savage Hearts, number one. She's a brawny barbarian bruiser with a broken heart. He's a lonely beastman who talks to dinosaurs. What happens when they team up against an evil sorcerer? Action, comedy, and romance in this all-new jungle fantasy. Okay. 
Okay. Covers. Barbarella, number one, cover A by Perio, and cover B by Chu. Both sick. Invincible Red Sonia, number three, by Linsner, and cover C by Selena, and the 10-copy Cohen. They're killing it with those covers. New book called Hyper Thick, number one, Dead Inside, Hair on the Blink, House Tornado Liquidizing the Furniture. Here's a fab new rectangle from Stephen A. Elliott. You'll have a field day with a shredding medley of Smash Treasure and Murky di Diatribes. Eternity, my favorite. I mean, what? Okay. Never, never, number one. We had Mark McCann on a long time ago. Here's his book. Canto 3, Lionhearted, number one. My Little Pony, Friendship is Magic, the 100th issue. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, number 119. This is the 10-copy variant. I'm going to tell you right now, that cover is going to be hot fire. Okay? A Man Among Ye, number 5, cover B by Larson. Clean as a jelly bean. Ha Ha, number 6, cover B. Man Eaters, Curse, number 1. I don't know if you remember Man Eaters, but anyway. Silver Coin, number 4, cover B. Gorgeous. Okay. Here's a key. Skybound X, number 2. The debut of a major new Stillwater character, surprising Coda to the Birthright Saga, and the first appearance of everyday hero Machine Boy. I think that's cover C with Machine Boy on there. Nottingham, number one, fifth printing. Gods of Brutality, number one, a new book, guys. In 2020, rock god Nick Dillon will step off the stage for the final time, ending his 37-year career as the head of the metal band Gods of Brutality. They are about to release their final album, completing the story he set out to tell 37 years ago. In his final interview, Nick reveals that when he died for one minute and 24 seconds in 84, he was actually in hell, where he was tortured by demons. In an act of desperation, Nick prayed to any god that would listen. Thankfully, his pleas were answered when Thor and Hercules were dispatched to save him. This is the comic telling of that story. And another new number one called Lunar Ladies Number One. A million years ago in outer space, a highly advanced society of women lived under the surface of the moon. Their peaceful way of living is quietly fracturing from the inside as political ideologies pit the queen of the moon against a geneticist hell-bent on usurping the queen's power. The Lunar Ladies is a homage to the public domain character Moon Girl. Okay. Blade Runner 2029, number five, cover E, the FOC mirror variant. This was something a while ago that people ordered for me because it got pushed. This thing's limited to a thousand copies, and guess what? I got you those books. I don't have them yet, though. Ninjak, number one, new book. Grim Fairy Tales, number 50, cover E by Burns. Robin Hood Goldilocks One Shot, cover C by Garvey. Okay, here we go. DC and Marvel to finish it off. Batman, uh, Action Comics 2021, annual number one. Batman the Detective, number four. Okay, Batman Urban Legends number five covers C. This cover is sick. Okay, it says Red Hood meet Cheer, the villain behind the insidious Cheer Drops. Challenge of the Super Sons number four. DC Horror presents The Conjuring, The Lover's second printing. Detective Comics 1039, The Vile Truth. Catch a glimpse into the secret origin of Detective Comics breakout villain Vile. Flash 2021 annual number one. That's cover B. Okay, Future State Gotham number three. The new Gotham villain Warmonger reveals himself. I'm sure it's, he has already had a first appearance, but this Besh cover is sick. And I believe it's Besh's first DC cover. Infinite Frontier number two. The one in 25 variant is sick. Joker number five. The Car Andrews variant is sick. The never-before-seen tale of the Joker's first night in Arkham Asylum is finally revealed. The mysterious woman from Punchline's past who has the answer she's looking for. Two different things. Sick-ass cover. Tinian. Justice League Last Ride, number three, cover B by Federici. Long Lost Prestige Edition. Nice House on the Lake, number one, second printing. Rorschach, number ten, cover B by Jenny Frizen. Tales Told in Technicolor, number one. Each issue contains five short stories from the dark minds that brought you the provenance of madness. Wonder Woman 775. 
Cover B, it does say, Welcome to the Graveyard of Gods, Wonder Woman. The Keeper of the Grounds anticipates your arrival. I don't know who that is. Could be a first appearance. Marvel, Aliens Aftermath, number one. Carnage, Black, White, and Blood, number four. The Randolph variant is sick. The final epic installment of Carnage, Black, White, and Blood is no exception. This issue sees the return of two superstars who are no strangers to symbiote business, Shalvi and Stegman. Champions, number eight. Conan the Barbarian, number 23, the Hots variant. Excalibur, number 22. Extreme Carnage Scream, number one. Get ready for that. Iron Man, number 10. And Sinister War, number one. One of my favorite covers is the Farrier cover. Dr. Octopus is back, and the Sinister War has begun. Ox got a new Sinister Six, and the Vulture has a new uh, team, the Savage Six. I'm, I'm excited for this. Spider-Man, Spider-Shadows, number four, another book I'm super excited for. Spider-Woman, number 13. Okay, this is a cool cap cover, but I'm actually kind of excited about what it's saying about this book. The most action-packed Spider-Woman uh, Spider issue yet, the most intense issue long action sequence you ever read so my guess is the whole book is an action sequence which i think is cool try to pick it up if you like that star wars dr afro number 12 the the headshot cover star wars bounty hunters number two the headshot cover is sick thor number 15 the klein variant Way of X number four, it does say Xavier vs. Legion, should be pretty good. Web of Spider-Man number one, second printing. And X Corp number three, the Del Mundo variant. There it is, guys. That is about ten minutes. I just did the best of the best. If you want to see it all, please watch my FOC shows live. This is the best anyone can do for everything coming out i just gave you all the best covers all the number ones every marvel every dc anything that has any type of feel of hotness all in your previous video okay so make sure uh a couple days we'll have the foc video and top 10 foc and then your top 10 out of this video hits on sunday so i hope you guys enjoyed here is the giveaway portion so get ready Let's go. Okay, guys, here we go. This is your giveaway. These are all the comments from the week before's show. So make sure in this video you're commenting, liking, everything. Tell me what you think about this video. Here we go. If you're a sicko channel member, you're going to win twice. The winner is... Silk Morb. <laughs> Silk Morb. I don't know who you are. Never, you know, I've never heard that name. Silk. Should be sick, bro. Sick Morb. Silk Morb, number 109. Winner. Sicko. Let's double check. I want to make sure you're not a sicko. I'm pretty sure you're not, though. 109. Oh, where are you, Silk Morb? So, there you are. You're not a sicko. You won. Oh, you own. You won. Send me name and address to Facebook or Instagram. Boom. Reply. Pin. I'll pin another one. Okay. So that's done. Silk Morb. You won. I got this from Black Box. They sent me stuff. This is an exclusive variant, I believe, for Shino Cage Shadow of Death number one. I'm pretty sure it's a variant. Let me double check. I can't tell. I can't tell. But anyway, there it is. So make sure to hit me up. You guys, talk to you later. I hope you enjoyed the new show. I think it's pretty damn clean. Like me.
Peace.